Now let's talk social media. It, it helps us stay connected with those that we may not see every day, uh, but it also has a lot of downsides. That's right. Awareness over these negative effects is making some people think about quitting for good. Huh, I yeah. believe it. A new Design Rush survey looked into that and found out what U.S. states have the biggest momentum away from devices. The survey analyzed thousands of search terms related to users wanting to get rid of their accounts or wanting to limit their time on the platforms. Well, it turns out California had the fourth highest number of people interested in deactivating social media, with most users looking to get rid of their Instagram or Facebook accounts. Now, those searches average out to about 40,000 times a month. New York, Hawaii, and Nevada rounded up the top three. The study's authors say these trends point to people wanting to shift how they interact with technology and find better balance. I like this. Yeah, you've always done a good job at disconnecting on your weekends. Yeah. And you know, sometimes we'll get on there, but I've I'm inspired by you. And oh, thank you. Because it's a nice to like to get away and, and to not, you know, pay attention so closely. Yeah. To I mean, I believe social media has, you know, um, good points and relevance. But right. personally, on my days off, I don't even look at social media. Smart. I don't care. Right. And when I feel like engaging, I'll engage. Now, granted, I'm probably behind a week's worth of you know, stuff going on, Stories but that's okay. and then whatnot, yeah, right. It's okay. But the bottom line is, if it doesn't make you feel good, right. it's okay to get away. Exactly. So you got to focus on your mental health that's for right. sure. All right, former President Jimmy Carter has been in hospice care for seven months, and he's now just about one week away from a milestone that many thought he'd never make it to. Mm. He's the longest living president in American history. He turns 99 on the 1st of October. Wow. Yeah, his nonprofit is putting together a special project to commemorate his birthday. The Carter Center has asked people from all over the country to send in their wishes through video messages, and they're being compiled into a digital mosaic of the 39th cool. president. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there's already been more than 6,000 submissions for the project, including actors such as Martin Sheen and Jeff Daniels. Yeah. A milestone for sure, 99 years old and the longest living president. Agreed. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right. Halloween is said to be no tricks, all treats in the 90210 this year. The city of Beverly Hills is banning young people from carrying silly string, shaving cream, or hair removal products on the spooky holiday. What's a hair removal product? Um, like shampoo? I'll explain to you later. Oh, okay. okay, so those are oh, all Oh, hair removal. I got it. Yeah. I was thinking something Come on, else. Chris. Yeah. Okay, so those are all things <laughs> city though? officials say are typically used in pranks and have led to injuries in the past. The ordinance is said to apply to people under 21 starting at 6 a.m. on Halloween until 6 the following morning. Interesting. What's going on in Beverly Hills that mm. they got to ban this? Up to no good. Up to no good, Up apparently. No good. Yeah. Okay. So uh, talking about Halloween makes yes. me think tomorrow is fall. Yeah. CBS News Los Angeles. Your local news. Streaming wherever, whenever.